Hey everyone, Sandra DeFreitas here. I wanted to show you Sumo Me. Um, great service that's out there uh, to help us entrepreneurs kind of figure out more about our sites, um, make it really easy for people to share our content as well, and share it on mobile devices, which is so important. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that it does, the main stuff. So here are the, the heat maps. I absolutely love this. What it's doing is it keeps keeps some um, uh, track of where people are hanging out on your site. Where are they clicking? What are they doing? Do they scroll down to the bottom at all? Uh, what is it they do? So you can see in this example there are where it's more yellow uh, that's where people are spending the most time. Um, where it's less like a paler yellow like recipes and about over here you will see that, that like there were less clicks at that time or, or in, in those areas. So you'll see store and learn more um, have the most clicks and that's great because that's what they intended I would assume but let's say uh, where you had store here in the top um, you can see kind of they have like a, a green background a green button that says store uh, perhaps it wasn't green before and they what they saw in their heat map was that people weren't clicking on the store well they use that green button now to highlight people to bring people in there and this is the site itself so if you, you know the heat map was important because perhaps before this, people weren't clicking on that store button. They made a switch, they analyzed the data, made a switch, put in the green button, and now it's visually bringing people to it and they've got what they want. So the heat maps show you where people are looking on your site. Uh, then there's List Builder, so it's different ways to get people on your list um, so that they can subscribe to your newsletter and there's a couple other options too and I'll show you those quickly um, but I just wanted to point this out and it integrates with systems like MailChimp and Aweber so you've got uh, some options there and then there's share and I love this um, uh, checking out different uh, blogs lately on my mobile device especially I found that people were uh, using this um, on their mobile sites and I love it because it's just it just sits on the bottom and it scrolls with you and it just makes it really super easy to share um, content with people um, that you know or just share into your social networks so here is um, the share that appears on your mob on your laptop on your mobile device like I said the buttons show up at the bottom okay so let's go in and check this out so I'm gonna go Ooh, back up here and I'm going to click try it now. I've already put in my email address here. You want to put in yours and then I hit submit and then copy this code. So this code has been copied for me. I'm going to put this in my uh, code of my site where it's where the head is in the, in the header of my site. If you don't know what I mean, that means and I just sounded like I was speaking gibberish to you, um, grab this code and give it to your developer. Tell them to put it in the head tag. Um, or you can install a WordPress plugin to help you with this. So I'm going to go into my theme. This is my demo site. I'm using the 2015 theme and I'm going to go find the head tag. There it is and just copy or paste this just above the head tag and I'm going to hit update file. Then I'm going to go to my site and refresh it and I'll see a little blue button up here. So I'm going to click on that and it says, looks like this is a new site, let's get you started. You either need to sign up or log in. So I've already signed up. If you have it, please do so, it's really easy. It asks for your, your name, your email address, um, even a phone number in case you needed support, uh, but that's that. So I'm gonna leave you there. I'm gonna log in and I'm gonna pause the video for a second while I do that. Okay, I'm logged in, and the next thing I want to do is go to Sumo Store. So even though it says store, there's a lot of free stuff in here. So here are a couple ways to get new subscribers. List Builder will just show your um, your sign up on your site, showing you some screenshots here. Here are the systems it integrates with. Woohoo! Woo look at all the great stuff there, and um, so that that's one that you could do. I'm not gonna put that one in yet or else this video is going to be too long. Um, another one is the scroll box and you can actually place where you want this newsletter sign up to be. It could be on any corner of your website. Um, you could say when it appears um, and 
you know, uh, it's also mobile friendly. Gotta love it. And then there's the smart bar. The smart bar sits at the top of your site. Give you show you this screenshot. Here it is. Um, you know, if you want more goodies, uh, subscribe here. You can also use it to get more followers on Facebook, Twitter, etc. On social media. Then, um, oh, did I? Okay, yep. Yeah, let's go to sharing. So sharing is is quite interesting. So there's the share that we see on the sidebar. I'm going to install that in a second and show you. You can do image sharing, so image sharing to, let's say, Pinterest and Instagram, places like that. And then there's highlighter. Highlighter is when people highlight text on your site. Um, let's say they're going to they're gonna copy it because they want to tweet it or whatever. It actually gives them the option to go ahead and tweet it and share it. So let's go ahead and go to the share. Um, here are some stats, things that you can look forward to, uh, where it shows you how many shares you got from the different um, social networks. But let's go and install it. So I'm actually going to click the free button and that installs it on my account for this particular site and I'm going to click open. You probably, oh, and I'm going to just do the free account for now. There are definitely some upgrades and goodness over there. You'll see that the um, icons are appearing on the left hand side and here's our summary so far. Obviously no one's clicked them. We're going to go into settings, and here I can actually um, change which options I want on here. So, for instance, I definitely want some Facebook like on there, so I'm going to put it in there. Um, now, um, what I love about this is there's there's this smart option here. The smart option um, allows the app itself to determine where you've got the most shares and to organize the buttons so that you get more shares. Okay, so yeah, let it do the work for you. So just leave it. Um, and I've left all this, you can always come back and tweak it some more. Um, you know, for instance, if you find that the icons are too big you can go and, and put them into a smaller version, you can change how the buttons look. I kind of like the square version. Um, you could put in how many shares, so if you've had, you know, 20,000 shares on Facebook, it'll show the F, the icon for Facebook and then 20,000 underneath. You can also put a total number of shares or you can shut them off as well. Okay, up to you. And then, um, at what point do you want it to switch to mobile mode? I just leave it at 480. Okay, I'm going to go up here and click save. And then here are some options of different places where you can put the content. So let's say I want it. Well, that site's not going. That's not going to work. That's so nice. Okay, I don't have the option to do that. So fine, um, because I don't have Pro. So for mobile, um, here you can actually allow it to do texting and send it to WhatsApp. How brilliant is that? So, yes, I do want people to be able to text. Okay. Ah, but I don't want to pay for it just right now because we're trying to do a video. So we'll go back. Go back to share. And go back to open. And you can have display rules. So I can say, don't show on these particular, don't show on desktop devices or only show on desktop devices, or only show on mobile devices. It's up to you. I'm actually going to take that away. I just want to show it everywhere and all the time for now. Um, and then I can customize it later. So then there's other things. Yes, go ahead. Uh, where you can put your Twitter name in um, so that people can um, add that when they tweet and attribute it to you. Um, there's tracking and you can shorten all your URLs as well. Okay, um, so that's it for uh, sharing. So there's all my buttons. Let me go ahead and share. Um, and if you buy uh, one of the subscriptions from Sumo, it actually won't show the Sumo Me app. Uh, sorry, it won't show the icon on the right hand side. Um, so yeah, so if they wanted some other options, they're all here. Okay, 
let's step away from that and go back to the Sumo store and let's put in the heat map. So there's a content analytics map and then here is the heat map. Let's look at this. I didn't actually look at this. So, oh, it's so kind of shows you how people are reading your content. So you can see in this screenshot, the hottest stuff is up here. People are reading and then it starts to fade as it gets, you know, towards the end of the article. It happens. Um, but yes, let's go back and let's put in the heat map for all the clicks. Heat map. And of course, there's more down here. I'd love to spend time and show you all of them, but this video would be too, too long. Okay, so let's go and install it. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to record a new campaign, which means it's going to start recording how many people click on the page that I'm on right now. So this is my home page, really. And then I can go to all my campaigns and view them. Um, I can go into settings and I can say who should it track. So I don't want it to track logged in users. Okay, why not? Uh, this is not a membership site. If it was a membership site and people log in, I would love to track where they're going and what they're doing. But I, it's not. It's just a demo site. And actually in any site where it's not a membership site, you're probably better off saying do not track. Because what it's going to do is it's going to track every time you click on it or anyone on your team goes and clicks on things or refreshes pages. And that's not really giving you a true sense of where your statistics are at, right? Okay. So I'm going to click on that. And, um, you know, for fun, I'm going to click on the alien color scheme because I'm just intrigued. And I click save. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, I'm going to go to my site. Ha, ha, ha. I'm using it. I'm using a Chrome um, add-on that actually slows down Chrome um, so it doesn't use all my resources with my millions of tabs open. So here we go. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay, uh, I want to go see my heat map. There's a couple ways of doing it. I like to go to the app itself and then go to heat maps and view this campaign. And it shows I have 83 and actually this is the most recent I believe okay well we'll take it so a lot of people clicking on WordPress because they want to hire us for WordPress work and a lot of people clicking on book it um, I found earlier so the stats have changed but I found earlier that um, there were less people clicking on the book it so to book a call with us and this is important to us this is where we get to know people we find out what their projects are, what their company's all about, so that we know if we can, you know, that, that we're a good fit and we can do the, the projects that they need us to do for them. Um, so I had considered moving this off, but now it looks like it's doing well, so I may just leave it. So that's my heat map. So I know where people are going, so it's interesting. Um, I might want to focus more on when people click on this WordPress button, where it takes them, does it take them through like a lead generation system or process. Okay, so I hope you like this video of Sumo Me. It's just kind of like a basic basic to get us going and get you started using it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.